growing strawberries under plastic low tunnels can provide many benefits to growers by extending the growing season and producing higher quality fruit. In fact, many berry producing countries in the world have already or are in the process of widely adopting this production technique. Growers in the United States are also interested in this form of protected culture farming, and especially those in colder climates where the growing season is limited and unpredictable. So far, current research on low tunnel strawberry production in the northeastern United States has revealed several benefits of low tunnels for day neutral strawberry production systems in particular that are especially applicable to American growers in cold climates. First, low tunnels serve as a protective barrier between plants and the environment, protecting fruit from damage caused by wind and precipitation. Low tunnels also reduce disease incidence. Many plant diseases, including anthracnose fruit rot, common leaf spot, and botrytis, rely on high relative humidity for spoilation and rain for spores dissemination. By minimizing foliage wetness and eliminating splashing water droplets, spoilation and disease pressure can be reduced. Third, low tunnels can provide greater total yields and larger fruit size in some years and locations. Several studies have reported greater total marketable yields of strawberries grown under low tunnels compared to plants grown on open beds. This is especially true during the latter part of the season as growing conditions deteriorate. However, even if overall yields are similar between low tunnel and open bed plantings, it's common for plants grown under low tunnels to produce higher percentages of marketable yield. In fact, a study conducted at the University of New Hampshire and Cornell University found that marketable strawberry yields under tunnels was 10 to 15% higher on average than strawberries grown on open beds. Another major benefit of low tunnels is the extension of fruit production during the season. When low tunnel sites are closed, daytime air and soil temperatures are greater within the tunnels than open beds. This supports flowering and fruit development from the early spring to late in the fall for day neutral varieties. Overall, current research indicates that American strawberry growers, and especially those in cold climates, stand to benefit from low tunnel production systems. However, many of the benefits described earlier largely apply to day neutral growers. In addition, investment in quality materials, labor, and continued maintenance for operating these tunnels should be seriously considered by each grower before implementation. For more specific information on cost, maintenance, and low tunnel structures, please click on the Strawberry Production Guides linked below. For more general information on protected culture farming and to receive updates on current research, please visit the Tunnel Berries website and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. This video was produced by the Tunnel Berries team, funded by the National Institute of Food and Agriculture, Specialty Crops Research Initiative, using materials from the published articles linked below.